president seeming now to talk about this much more explicitly, much more clearly, using terms like semi-fascist to describe the most hardcore supporters of the MAGA movement. Are you, are you glad to see that? I'm glad to see that. I think the president has been holding back and I think uh, he's been holding back because, you know, he is a man of goodwill and wants to give people the benefit of doubt. But, um, you know, I saw the Republicans for who they were. They were on January 6th, not all of them, but what we saw happening on January 6th can tell you a lot. I also saw them how they were here in Arizona uh, trying to actually take away the right for us to vote for U.S. senators back in 2011. So this has been kind of a creeping level of slow moving fascism that has been really injecting the Republican Party for a while. And, you know, unfortunately, the portion of the Republican Party, the McCain's of the of, of the Republican Party that were, you know, really believing in the idea of democracy have been pushed out by the party. And this is why we are at a situation where there's a lot of people that may vote for Republicans, not knowing that they're voting really for someone who may want to not have popular elections anymore. Think about a fight against the country. You need an F-15. You need a, something a little more than a gun. No, I'm not joking. Think about this. Think about the rationale we use.